Hey, my name is Dan. This particular video is a free video from my full course on HTML5 banner advertising using Adobe Animate. There are also free files and I've got some finished files that I save after each YouTube video that you can download from my website. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. All right, let's get on to some banner making. Okay, so what other ways can you build HTML5 banner ads? So we're gonna do in this course, Adobe Animate, and that, in my professional opinion, is the one that's gonna have the, it's gonna be the industry standard. Um, it's not quite perfectly industry standard yet, but Adobe are putting their weight behind it. They used to have it with Flash, so I imagine this is going to be the biggest product. Um, so that's Adobe Animate. You can still use the legacy one, remember, um, uh, edge animate okay the one that's been discontinued you can totally do that <clears throat> i was teaching people how to do banner ads for a long time uh, for the last year or so in that one before it got discontinued okay and it works fine and um, uh, and if you are so those are great for visual people okay if you are like a graphic designer or a web designer or a visual person you're going to have to use some of those kind of like helpful animation products another one of those is google web designer or gwd Okay, and that is made by Google and it's good. It's quite similar to Edge Animate and Adobe Animate. And the only problem with it is that it's, <clears throat> it's really specifically for the Google network. So if you're only doing ads for uh, Google DoubleClick or uh, AdWords and that's it, uh, then that might be the product for you. It's pretty good, I've played with it. Um, uh, I haven't used it as much as some of the Adobe products though, so that might be a product for you. It's just a bit of a pain when you want to go off and do it for Seismic or any of the other ad networks that you might be doing it to. So uh, Google Web Designer, check that one out. And um, if you're a more of a coder or a developer, um, then you're gonna be using something like, uh, if you wanna do it in pure codes, you wanna open up a text editor and you wanna start typing um, and doing that, the syntax for it, rather than animating it on a timeline. And um, you wanna look at something like green sock, like um, if, uh, your shoe and your sock, so green sock. Okay, it also gets called, uh, was it green sock animation, green sock animation platform, okay, or GSAP gets referred to quite a bit. And that's a way of doing the exact same thing as we're gonna do here in animate, but only doing it in code. Another way of doing that exact same thing uh, in code is maybe create JS. So create JS is another way to do it in code. So you want to go off and see if you can find those sorts of things if you would rather do it in code. Now I'm talking really fast because I've had a big coffee. Okay, yeah. and I will slow down for the next video, I promise. Uh, let's move on to that one now. All right, that's it for the free video. It was pretty good, right? What I really want you to do now is I want you to go and sign up for my full course. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're keen. I have loads of other good free stuff, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and yeah, how did I, good YouTube people?